Hello, welcome back fans and friends of archery. Roughly two weeks ago I visited my friend Thomas Reichel in Puchenau. It's near Linz and he is a bow builder and uh, very, very, uh, whatever he does, he does very good. Uh, he made some laminated bows and he made some bows with rawhide biocomposite, which I show later. Today we only talk about these laminated bows and this one, I guess, is a laminated too. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's glass on it or not, but we talk about it in specific. But when I was there, I let him introduce every bow because otherwise I get confused. One thing before we start, the I don't do full reviews with every marks and things because this bow exists only once, so you can't even ask him, can you build me this one? He will not do it. So this one exists now. I will show you quickly what it does. I will show you the four others what they are doing. And then if you're interested, you simply let me know. And then we can make a deal. So now let's Thomas say what he has to say about this bow. Now we have a nice one. Tell us. Come closer a little. We don't bite. <laughs> this is a bow. Or horse bow, inspired by the Native American of the Western Shore. Mm -hmm. They use also recurve bows. This bow is also ash and hard maple, mm -hmm. covered with black leather nice. and cotton rip wrappings mm -hmm. and the handle is hemp. hemp. Always feels very good, very yeah. you have a nice feeling on this handle, I like them. And the draw max draw of this bow is 21 pound, uh, 21 inch, mm -hmm. and it's a daredevil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it looks very good. Yeah, look, because I always wanted to have now one of these plain American yeah. bows that I can try these knockless arrows. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That feels good. A Native American bow. We, 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 how did he call it? Western Shore flat bow. In the woods, he explained just everything, so I simply just measure quickly that you know how long the bow is because I think this is still of interest from knock to knock. And I'll show you in a second the close up, it's 34 and a half inches from knock to knock. And now you see here these are the they are not really sears but a bit reinforced recurves. Whipping, here you have black leather, yes, I guess black glass. Whipping, Aeropass hemp grip, this feels really good. Nice handle shape, looks sweet. So this bow has a max draw of 21 inches. It's such a, one of the short ones, you know, these short snappy. And I thought maybe it's interesting for learning to shoot like Jeff OCP and do here some knockless arrows I don't have now. And I don't want to use my carbon arrows for it. I will make, if I keep this bow, I will make some arrows. So stringing. Oops, easy. Only down there. The knock. So. so this bow stands already under a lot of tension. But look, it's quite neat. Okay. So you see already a little, this one is the weaker one. This is the stronger one. No grooves are fine. You know, he builds in his limitations what his hand is still capable of doing. I mean, if I would have an almost paralyzed right hand, not sure if I would even consider building bows, but for this, not bad. So 21 inches is quite short. Let's see. Oh, strong. You know what? We put it on the tiller stock and see how the 21 inches look like. And let's see. 10 inches, 11. The right limb comes quite a bit back, so most probably, you know what, we make this differently. Put the bow a bit more to the right. So, string angle is almost 90, so we are 20, 20 inches. And I would not go any further. So, but 20 inches it does. String angle is then already 90 degrees. So, this is what you get, folks. Small snapper. I could tell you what it is. On, wait a second. I'll tell you what we have at 20 inches. Poundage. So, 
So at 20 we have 30 pounds. Obviously I don't have 20 inch arrows, but these are quite short ones and I got them from for who did make me these nice pretty arrows? I forgot, I really forgot, sorry. So let's shoot 20 inches roughly, 30 pounds. I should thumb release now, because I can. Look at this, oh. Boy, so this is really something for, if you wanna go for this native American short draw. So in the beginning, there is not a lot here, but then draw curve goes up, but of course it's a very, very short bow. So don't want to shoot too many arrows. The interesting thing is they don't have a lot of hand choke and uh, Thomas said because of these different layers of harder wood and softer wood and harder wood and softer wood, it like compensates for it. I don't know yet, but we will see what happens later. So this is what you get, a 20 inch draw beast with 30 pounds. If this is fine for you and if you like this style, let me know, write me a message. This bow is for sale. But of course you can only have this one. It doesn't make this one anymore ever again. Inspired by the Sarah teams. Mm -hmm. This bow. Nice, nice seals. Yeah. yeah, improvement. The seals are buffalo horn. Mm -hmm. Wood is wangi, hard maple, cover, glass, mm -hmm. and bottom glass, and mm -hmm. this is nut, walnut, black walnut. Okay, we have an arrow pass, we have a nice suede leather here as a rep, as a grip, and the seals are quite, quite massive. Yeah? And this bow is also never shot, mm -hmm. but draw is about 29 30 inches maybe okay. maybe longer mm -hmm. and the interesting thing is okay the the sear goes just in between the glasses mm -hmm. so it's not that the sear is in front or in this like it's very interesting design and a lot of a lot, a lot of layers oh, yes. here wow pretty and we have one here very well done so we never shot this ball then i will be the first one to break it <laughs> I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking, obviously. Okay, but both break. Handle feels good. Nice. And I thought because the sears are quite massive, would be more. Feels good. This is the next one, then his Sarah's an inspired one with Wengi and hard maple and what have you. He said he drew it already to 29, 30 inches. So it's very interesting when you see how the glass goes between. I think for me personally, the sears are a little big, but on the other side, they are quite narrow so it's not too much weight and this knocks okay they, they could be maybe half the size but this is how he did it so this is, is inspired by the Sarazin so to say leather handle is nice we have a small arrow pass on and here you see again in the in the handle of course down there you don't see it all the different layers of harder wood and softer wood nice here you have already something coming up but this is what you get one of these homemade bows so here you feel a few that, that some transitions are not so smooth, but you know, he works with a set how he can do. Yep. 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 54 and a half, almost 55. Oops, 55 inches and a nice leather handle. <laughs> so 29, 30 inches, the Sarazen. So remember, if you're interested in this one, it runs under the name Sarazen. Boy. Nice, look how narrow everything is. But still, I think uh, this one is a little off here. This one is straight. You see, this one is a little off. So I must probably need to fix this, fix this in post. <laughs> so shall we see what the 30 inch will look like on the tiller? Oh, it's not so bad. Oh. 
We put it on the tiller stop first, we deploy it up to 29 or 30 and see what the bow is doing. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Ooh, 25. 27. 28, I'm not sure. So I, I don't want to break bows. 28, I would give this bow a 28. But no, I don't want to break his bow. So but let's see what the poundage will do. We have 31. Shall I go further? See, has come already dangerously. And so 28 and a half. We have a little more, but I would not go further. So maybe 29 after you shoot the bow in. And then it's fine too. 30 inch arrows, a bit too long, obviously. So 28 is good. 29 maybe. But feels nice, doesn't do a lot in the handle. So if you have a short row, or if 28, 29 is enough for you, not so bad. Oh, even Katra works. Let's shoot three fingers. How this looks like. I don't like. Let's shoot these ones, the thumb. The string is fine. We look at this. Start already Robin Hooding my arrows. So you feel a little the handle bending and here with this one you feel it a little. So I guess the weight here is a bit too much but it's not so annoying and you hear it it's a little... One, two, three, four. But not a lot. There's not a lot going on. So it's not so bad. Brace side, I can tell you. If you want to know. You want to know. Six and a quarter to six and a half. So the Saracen inspired bow because of this nice small curly sear ends here by Thomas Reichel. If you want this one, write me a message. Oh, now we come to a pretty one. Look at this. What what kind of wood is this again? Uh, it's uh, Lauro Fire. Wow. Lauro Fire is also pearl wood. Some call it snake wood. It's very rare. Pretty. And the core is bamboo. Beautiful. And Very good. Glass black on black back black. and white glass on top. Nice. And here you see Wenge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That is maple, mm -hmm. that is Swiss pier, and that is Wenge. See how screwed I would be when I just now take these bows and then unpack them and I tell them, listen, I have no idea. It's a brighter wood, it's a darker wood, it's a black wood, or maybe it's horn. So I have no idea, that's why I need the introduction to every bow. And then it's fine. Handle fist, we nice. Nice, very nice. nice. This mm. is a little bit off center. Yeah. It's exactly laying here. Yeah, you have it exactly yeah. where you need it. Yeah. It's just pretty cool. Just you have just on a pressure point. Nice. What's the name of this bow? Yeah, you need to name your bows. Yeah, it's yeah, it's something it's, like it's, it's a yeah, it's that's so, no, he wasn't done. Something like Mongolian Chinese a name like the Asian. raptor or oh, no, no, raptor no. that exists already. That looks good. Tommy's test. <laughs> huh? Call it Tommy's test. Tommy's test. It was Tom already Tom. stringed. Tom Tom one. <laughs> <laughs> it was already stringed and okay. Draw is first try is about 28, 29 inch. Okay. And I think it's going up to 40, 42 pound. Oops. Okay. You, we will see. We will test all these bows. You will see a video of each and every bow. The early Mongolian one. I say early Mongolian, so inspired by Chinese. What did you say? Early Mongolian. Yeah, it's the Tom Tom one. It's a really beautiful one. Look, look at this. What pearl wood or snake wood? A very rare wood. A really beautiful. So only because of this hanging on the wall would be already worth it and it's nice sears, thin, really nice how they run in here. Then you have glass, the leather hand, leather, the seam is a little offset so when you hold it 
you really have it nice in your hand and two small arrow passes in leather this is a really really nice spoke 28.29 we will see now it starts dripping again huh said that in the afternoon it stops raining hmm? you don't follow the app huh? you Fifty three inches. I, I, I like the design of this one, it's really nice. Shall we string it properly? Yes, okay. Nice, knock roofs, nice. This one is really Thomas. Proud of you. So even if we don't share political ideas. Oh, nice. Stringing is easy. Brace head is easy. <laughs> Brace head is. Can you stop raining now? Don't have time for that. Uh, you're the wrong side. Almost six. Straight. Look at this. Nice. 28, 29 inches. Oh yeah, this one draws nice. That's a nice one. Chiller? Well, with this one, I think I have no problem going to 28. Feels really good. Look at this. Now the limbs start working, now you feel them. 28, 29. I guess after you shoot this bow in, it might even do 30. That's really, look at the nice curves. Thomas, this is really a nice one. At 28, 34 pounds. So maybe this bow would do even a little more. But I said, I don't want to break your bows. Let's shoot first the 28 inch wood arrows. Nice, a little to the right. <laughs> Compensating for it, a little to the left. Yeah, this one. Now we're talking. 13 is a bit too long, but here there's still room. At the end it gets a little stiff, but you could see three pounds in an inch. But you get there, so this one is a nice one. So I wouldn't even draw longer than 29 inches. It just performs nice. Back there it gets a little stiff, but it's such a beautiful bow. So if you have a short draw and you like something which only exists one time on this whole planet, has a little this charm of being rough finished, not industrial finished, because this is how Thomas is doing it, and I love this wood. This is so nice. Dang good. So this one has a little more, you hear it? But again, five seconds, six seconds. And you don't almost feel nothing in the hand. This is really cool. Nice one, Thomas. And? If you want this one, you have once in a lifetime chance to get this bow. Let me know. Isn't he a handsome guy? Look at him. <laughs> what do we have now? This is a bow. A bow? Mm -hmm. Inspired a little bit by the Assyrian mm -hmm. and a little bit by the Han. Mm -hmm. And it's something like a recurve bow. I think I, I need to say, of course, now some one of you could think I want to order a bow from him. He simply does unique pieces and this is what you can get. So it's not that you can order from him. Now you want to have this bow in 55 pounds. It's not how it works. He simply likes building bows. And when it's done, you can have exactly this bow, but there won't be another one like this. So every single bow is really a one in a lifetime unique example of your mm. skills and your craftsmanship. Yeah, because... Uh, I can't promise because I'm a little bit handicapped of the brain stroke mm. with the right hand and it's that yeah. what's coming out sometimes. And when you see he can't almost move his right hand, no fine motorical skills and, and he still can make strings and he still can do all this 
when you see the workshop, then he finds some ways to, to deal with it and work around with it. Yeah. It's very good. Very good. My, uh, I built my special yeah. uh, tools for it. Doesn't help. So. Otherwise, I couldn't handle exactly. make it. So, what do we do? So, again, yeah. poundage, draw length, we don't know. Poundage is about 3840. Okay. The CS are layers mm -hmm. of hard maple and okay. ash mixed. Mm -hmm. The top layer here is Wengi. Mm -hmm. It reinforces this buffalo horn. Mm -hmm. Here you see that's uh, cherry wood, mm -hmm. light cherry wood. Yep. At the top is bubinga. Okay. No glass on this. One. Yeah, and also glass okay. on both sides. Okay. So it's a complete laminated. Yeah. On the handle you can see a little bit of um, signature series scratch marks. Yeah. No. No. That, that's. Yeah. That's from the wrap. That's uh, Sibrano. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, Swiss pier. Okay. Yeah, and wrap hemp. Nice. Okay. Yeah, pretty bow. Huh? Nice, nice shape. I can see when this is strong. Yeah, the way it goes. Nice and the seams look pretty. Very good. So now this Assyrian style, kind of. For my taste, a little too big here. But he is doing it how he's doing it. Then you see here the different layers of wood and his nice ears running down here. A nice handle, drop shape, very nice. And then this rough hemp whipping, which fits the overall design of this bow very well. And here you have some scratchings because he had a leather wrap handle on it. But he removed it again and you don't need it. This handle is a little squarish, but look at this nice shape of this handle. And this is the bow you saw already in one of my, my first video here. I shot this bow. My first video in Austria, I shot this bow because I didn't have any other bow here. I just got the ones from Thomas and then I shot this one and somebody was directly very interested in this bow. Really nice one. 57 inches, knock to knock. And uh, what did he say about Maxtro? He said 40 pounds, Maxtro didn't say anything. <laughs> Let's see, not let me break his bow now. Don't want to break them. So, um, almost. Oh, he's a strong bow. Ah, nice. We oh, are. Yeah. A bit. Yeah, it's okay. Nice. Yeah, a little. Overall, a little twist in the bow, but it's fine, I guess. Oh, I strung it the wrong way. Huh? Which one? Doesn't matter most probably, huh? Let me shoot it this way. This one is really... Uh -huh. uh oh. Oh, damn it. Not for sale anymore. The last one is... The last one is... The core is Wengi and hard maple. Mm -hmm. The top is Paddock and the bottom is Bobinga. Both sides. That is Wengi. Yeah. And it's also hard maple and ash. Mm -hmm. And also the same here at the CS. Wengi in the center again. Yeah, nice. And it's quite a heavy flex in the handle yeah, already. Oh, a very light bow. Mm -hmm. Even 250 grams or something, huh? Nice. Yeah, a little look. bit more. Look at this flex and this pretty handle here. Nice. And was it ever strong? It was one or twice strung. Okay, but never shot really? Not really shot, but uh, I tried to draw, draw it up until 22 inch mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. and so you trust me on this that I try it or break it? Do it. <laughs> okay, so you heard it now, I have it the proof on video. So and fine. when it's breaking, I know what I can, but I have to watch it. Uh, watch out at the next bow. Exactly. This is how you learn. Yeah. I mean, even when you see famous bow builders like Simon, he took him 80, 100 bows until he got to the point. Broken bows. In my workshop, there's the wall of shame with the broken bows. Can happen. You remember three years ago, yeah, the one yeah, bow, the yeah, composite oh, yeah, bow? Yeah, yeah. I remember. I broke it. It was a wonderful bow. It was a wonderful bow and I broke it. Yeah, I feel still bad a bit. No, but I told you it can break it because can break. I had before mm. my thoughts that this mm. could be yeah. a and, point where it could And you break. knew it already that yeah. there was a weak point, yeah. so, and then yeah. this weak point showed up later under yeah. pressure. Yeah. 
but this is how it's uh, you shot already 35, 40 arrows with this bow. Yeah, yeah we, shot, we shot quite a while. I had fun with it, and then one moment it simply snapped. Uh, but it can happen. Okay. I was waiting for the moment mm -hmm. quite long. <laughs> and the last bow, he never tested it, he only strung it up to 22 inches. But it's a beauty. Look at this one. Huh? Looks really, really dangerous. Big handle, nice. Nice faded limbs. See us black and bright and everything. Just nice, but I said never shot. Never drawn more than 22 inches. Paduk, Bobinga, Ash, Wenge, Hard Maple, everything. 52 and a half. Short. And quite some flex in the handle. <laughs> Longer one is the bottom one. Yeah. Good. Let's see if the normal step through method works with this one. Huh? Yeah, it's such a flex in the handle, it's really challenging. Oh, seriously? Pooh. I think this one would have needed a little more. We oui. looks like an Avarn bro. <laughs> an Avar handle is nice. Brace head where we have the arrow is six inches. It's fine too. Sounds good. Vibrates a little bit more than the others. Twenty-two inches. Telestock. Hoo ha, let's go. So 22 he managed. This one is a bow I don't trust, that's why I better draw it on the tiller. Oh, it gets stiff only, Mac. Yeah, and the limbs come down already wide. So 22. We leave it there for a while. But didn't make any noise, nothing. Let's measure the poundage. See, I don't even have to measure the brace height because there you see it directly. Hmm. At 20 we have 31. 22 we have 33. Thirty, forty, forty-three, forty-two, forty, forty-three pounds. So maybe I was wrong before. Can we do one more? Oi, oi, oi. Hmm. I mean, with thirty-two, you don't want to have this ball. Should do at least twenty-eight, right? Let's see. already 90 degrees so 24 and a half I would go but not further so again if you only have a short draw then this bow might be something for you first the wood arrows what did we say 24 inches a little bit higher maybe yeah, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> kicks and then kicks kicks the arrows away. But I further. Hmm. It feels a little unbalanced. Yeah, yeah, but you can hit something. You can make it work. It's not a problem. <coughs> Center shot five meters. Oh no, but 
but more I would not throw this bow. So if you like one of these short snappy, or you are short and snappy, then it's nice. Otherwise, I think more than 24. You can try if you want, but first get the bow. <laughs> so if you like this one, let me know, send me, I have the link in the description, send me an email and ask for the question mark, but I don't know which one is. I say Avar, ask for the Avar. Otherwise it's not bad, so it's, it's not bad for that he just started building laminated bows. Good. Now the sears are not too massive, relatively thin. Can't say anything. So if you want this one, if you draw short, or need a short draw bow, let's say. So of all of them, my favorite uh, to shoot now and to look at is this one with uh, snake wood. My favorite before <coughs> to shoot with this one. With this, with this one, I shot already 100 arrows or something, but now. Here it cracked, so the, the top layer came off. He can fix it, it's not a problem. If you can fix it, it's not a big deal and you simply extend the whipping a little over it and then it's fine. So if you want to have this one, you can have, obviously. That was my favorite to shoot, those really nice shoots nice. But as this one is not available now, this is now my number one. Feels good, looks good, shoots good, nice bow. Come on. Thank you very much. I will do a review of every individual bow. Oh, and great. then you will see what, yeah. what we can do. So that was Thomas from Puchenau. No, Puchenau. Puchenau. Oh, Sandberg. Yeah. We have planes here and we have camp trails, but we don't talk about politics. <laughs> thank you, Thomas. So thank you, Thomas, for giving the bows to me so I could have a look at them. Next time I will check the your, your biocomposite bows with rawhide and all this stuff. And you, thank you everybody for watching. Catch you in the next one.